Hello, my name is Adrian Rodriguez and I'll be presenting on the Italian Stile Liberty slash Stile Floreale style. Stile Floreale, also referred to as the Liberty style, is an art style that was inspired by the French Art Nouveau movement that took root in Italy during the late 19th century. Historically, 1895 marks the beginning of the Stile Floreale in Italy and reached the height in 1897. However, artworks that eluded, however, artworks that eluded to this emerging style can be seen before 1895. For example, Gitano Previetti's um, Maternia, as shown here, was thought to be the first painting to demonstrate the fluidity of this liberty style in its brushstrokes. This made uh, what made Stile Floreale unique was its connection to eclectic local traditions that sought after a neo-Renaissance floralism. Four main points I'll be discussing are Italy's infatuation with other cultures, particularly with France, the late economic prosperity introducing the image of the new woman, Denuncio's influence on art trends, and Novissima's use in cultural dissemination. Between 19, 1859 and 1870, Italy experienced shortcomings both culturally and economically due to the lack of a true capital city. The absence of a true capital meant that Italian people looked outward for cultural stimuli and ideas in growing a particular interest in Paris and French culture, likely resulting in the introduction of ideas such as Art Nouveau. In the last years of the 19th century, uh, Italy, Italy industry experienced a boom, enabling industrialists to explore new ventures such as the motor vehicles. The emergence of the automobiles gave way to the phenomenon known as the new woman. Automobiles gave a free movement, gave enabled more free movement among the population, especially for women, giving them a great sense of freedom and equality of modernity. In addition to the new woman phenomenon, Stile Floreale became associated with new organizations of leisure, such as open air exercise, health, sports, and cinema. Due to this, many works of Stile Floreale depict female figures as the main focus and partaking in leisure activities. A passionate leader during the Liberty Style movement was the Italian poet Gabriele D'Annunzio, who was considered a hero of cultural journalism. He played a major role in the relationship between visual arts and Italian population as a critic and arbiter of taste. His active years coincided with the in in idealist revolt against positivists that encouraged the prioritization of past artistic styles and less focus on the future. Some artists began drawing inspiration from classical mythology and central figures. Uh, the embrace of uh, the past and classical mythology likely contributed to the Romanesque motifs and imagery found in the decorative arts showcased in Liber the Liberty style. Julio uh, Ricordi was a famous Italian mu musician and printer, and initially known for publishing opera Liberos, but later for his work in poster design. He owned a publishing house in Milan and is well known for producing many of the masterpieces in Italian poster design. Uh, Adolf Honenstein was a German-born graphic artist, primarily active in Italy. Honenstein was referred to as the father of poster design in Italy, and he worked alongside Giulio Ricordi as the director for Ricordi's Milan uh, um, firm in Milan. Giovanni Matuloni was a painter and illustrator in Rome um, who worked as a poster designer and contributed to several Italian magazines. Uh, Matuloni took classic, a classical approach to the Stile Floreale style incorporating finely drawn nudes and allegorical concepts with a harmonious use of color. A publication that helped promote the Stile Floreale was the Novusima. The publication was founded in 1901 in Italy by an art promoter named uh, Eduardo de Fonseca and was classified as a journal for arts and letters. The journal of Novissima, well, the goal of Novissima was to educate the public in Italy and abroad on contemporary artistic trends uh, by displaying the best literary and artistic works of the time. Novissima ceased printing in 1910, but proved to be a great instrument in cultural dissemination and had contributed to the spread of new innovations in graphic arts and evolved the sense of taste in various socio-economic groups in the Italian society. Here we have two images, one by uh, Leopoldo Metzkovitz and one by Leonardo uh, Bistolfi. Both images um, showcase that very Romanesque style that um, Sile Floreale um, highlighted. Um, a lot of fluidity movement and use of floral imagery and motifs um, are also shown throughout this as well. As you can see, the female, uh, female figure and form is um, showcased as the main focus of the imagery here as well. Um, similar to the two images from before, here we have two images by Alfredo Baruffi, 
um, they showcase the female figure as the main uh, form and adorning it with very um, floral imagery and pattern work um, to showcase um, the style. Lastly, we have two images, one by Marcelo Dudovich and uh, Leonan Leonetto uh, Capoello. Um, here we have kind of the more the new woman approach to Estilo Floreale, showing women as the main feature, but experiencing or partaking in leisure activity um, as part of the thematic approach for the imagery. Um, here they also have very bold use of color as well um, as bold use of topography. Lastly, here is my work cited for um, this presentation. And thank you for your time.